Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to film a how I install my clip-ins video. If you like that type of thing, you should definitely keep watching. If you're new here, my name is Z. If you're not, welcome back to another video. I typically use my clip-ins from Amazon. They're really affordable. I haven't had a problem with them yet. And this looks really pretty. Like, look at it. The ends are so beautiful. The hair is beautiful. It feels really good. It blends in really well. Of course, everything is not going to be the, that great. The parts are not going to be that straight because clearly I can't see the back of my head. As long as the hair is in there and can hold, you will be fine. The parts does not have to be perfect. I think I'm a clip-in type of gal. But I will definitely have the clip-ins that I use listed below in the description box. Enough for talking, let's get into the video. Hey y'all, so this is going to be a voiceover. These are the clip-ins I bought from Amazon. Don't know if I'm going to pronounce it right, but I think it's called the Hellison Straight Clip-In Hair Extensions. Real hair is 100 grams of seamless Brazilian Remy hair extensions. I got the length in 20. Um, and I like how that there's not that much shine to them because it looks a lot more natural when it blends in with my hair. And these are the clip-ins, how they look close up. Yeah, I broke my comb a couple of days ago trying to comb my hair and I had to work with that little, 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 little broken rat tail comb. Um, I like to go up a little further in the back when I start my clip ins because I want to make sure that it's not too close to the edge because since those hairs are very short and very thin, um, closer to the edge back there, I needed my clip ins to be able to clip to the hair and stay clipped. I found a new technique uh, like last time I did my hair or two times before is to flat iron as I go because it I feel like it helps me control how much heat I'm actually putting to my hair because um, a lot of times when I do the clip ins even if my hair is straightened I'll clip in the hair the clip ins and then I'll go in and flat iron it all over again so that's me just sizing it making sure that's the correct size for this part it's the three clip one and I don't normally go all the way to the edge when I do my clip ins to the side of my heads because just in case if the size my edges happen to show you won't see the clip ins but I'm going to keep adjusting because I'm trying to feel how I put them you see the part is not that great but it's okay um I you know you can't see the back of your head and I don't have the right setup to even try to attempt to look I'm struggling a little bit trying to feel the part with this small broken rat tail comb So as I'm flat ironing, I'm not getting that close to my roots because I need my clippings to be able to clip onto that thick hair that's there. Um, at, towards the top, I will get closer to my roots. Sometimes I did get close by accident or not thinking about it, but I won't run the flat iron through it that many times. But um, I feel like with my hair being thick at the roots, it's easier for the clippings to clip on and not slip out. So that's why I'm not flat ironing that close to my roots and making sure that I do get my ends nice and clean. So that when I clip in the clippings, you can't tell where my hair stops and where the clippings start. So I just like it to blend very seamlessly. So I had to grab my little mirror because I was struggling too much, just struggling too much. So I got my little mirror to help me see what I'm doing from the front.
just a little bit about this hair i got this in the natural color 1b because it blends in better with my hair because my hair is not jet black i got it in straight as you can see the 20 inches like i said before they have a lot of other inches they have 20 12 14 16 18 22 24 and 26 i think the 26 is just the longest that they go up to but it's really good hair i like how it feel i like how it looks one thing that i did notice about the clip-ins when i was looking at them the small pieces that's like one clip on the hair or the width of the actual piece is longer than the clip in itself so i don't really like that because it will lift and when you brush or comb your hair you're definitely going to grip that with the comb or brush and i don't really like that part of it but other than that so far so good Now I'm going to show y'all what it looks like from the front. I'm trying to see where I'm going to put my middle, not my middle part, my side part at. Um, I'm a side part girl. Here I'm teasing it because my hair was very straight. It was very thin right here. So I have to tease it for the clip-ins to be able to clip to this section of my hair. Sometimes the struggle is real doing these clip-ins. I just clip, take off, clip, take off, clip. It's part of the process, y'all. It's part of the process. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Do y'all see what I see? That looks so natural, don't it? It looks very natural. I think at this point is where I'm sealing my side part. This is going to be all that I'm putting on this side of my head. Everything is going to be towards the back and towards the other side until it's complete. Right here, I'm going to try my best to get as close to my roots as possible, being that it's in the front and I need it to sit very nice, very natural, very blended. That's why I'm getting so close to the roots at the top.
see y'all see how well this right here is blending in perfect that's exactly what we want So I'm going to end up taking this one right here that I'm putting in now out because I just don't like how it feels and how it looks at the end. It's going to be that one and the one underneath it that I'm going to take out. And this is me trying to fix everything, get a feel of everything, see what I like, what I don't like, what I need to adjust. Um, it's going to be a lot of brushing, but I'm going to help y'all and cut some of that out. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to get my bangs to blend in really nice. Have that little swoop, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so y'all got to get a look at this. Look at that. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Phenomenal. I think at this point I took out those two clip-ins I was talking about, but this is what it looks like. That's the back. Beautiful. You can't tell where my hair stops. That's exactly what you want, y'all. You want it to look as natural as possible. If you can't tell, I'm feeling myself. Look at there. Look at that. Bam. Bam. Ooh. Pose for the camera. So the hair is done. I am obsessed. I love the ends. It blends in really well. Love it. Love it. Love it. And again, if you're new here, I am very extra when it comes to my clip ends. I've established that and I've accepted that. I'm not afraid to admit that. <laughs> But these are so pretty. I feel like a completely different person when I put my clip ends in. And now they're two inches longer than last time. It's over. It's over. I will highly suggest y'all try these out. I'm going to link them below. Um, they were... Let me see. They are $39.99 for each bundle. Um... I got two bundles uh, and I used, honestly, I used all of them except for these two tiny little pieces. I did remove these. I did have them in, but I removed them because I just didn't like how they felt too close to my edge right here. And I just feel like it looks a lot more natural to have my natural like bang here and to blend it with the hair which i thought about layering it a little bit right here but i'm not going to being that i will most likely um change them around a different way and um i feel like it looked good like this very lightweight very lightweight if you like this video make sure you subscribe for more and i will see y'all next time